generally prices on the island are going to be higher than the mainland, starting around $90 a night and up. On the mainland, prices start around $40 a night and up. However, consider the fact that you're going to be paying for water taxis or buses to get to the island every day. I would include that in your cost and see if you actually end up saving money by staying on the mainland and compare the price there. Just make sure to book accommodation as early as you can so you have more options to choose from and you can snag a good deal. Don't wait until the last minute when you only have the last hotels that are left over and they tend to be generally more expensive than you would want to pay. Also account for the Venice tourist tax. Adults are charged a tourist tax that is not part of your hotel total amount. So it is three euros per night Per person during the high season. It only applies to the first five consecutive nights of your stay, but it is due to the hotel, usually upon arrival. We stayed at a bed and breakfast for $120 a night, and it was a comfortable room with free breakfast, which was a bonus for us. The streets of Venice are full of cafes, pizzerias, restaurants, and gelaterias to choose from, catering to a variety of budgets. Restaurants usually have menus on display for you to check out before sitting down to eat. You can have a sit-down meal at a restaurant anywhere between 10 euros to 40 euros per person. It all depends on your budget. For an inexpensive option, find a restaurant where you pay and eat at the counter, such as Rosticeria Ghislon. Not the fine dining experience, but delicious Venetian food at reasonable prices. This is where the locals come to grab a quick lunch. You could also pick up some cheese, bread, fruit, and drinks at a grocery store and find a little nook on the canal, picnicking and watching the gondolas go by. Romantic and doesn't break the bank. The only transportation cost we had during our trip to Venice was the round-trip Ali Laguna ferry ticket from Marco Polo Airport into Venice and then back to the airport. It was 27 euros per person round-trip. We explored Venice by foot, but if you need to take the Vaporetto, which is the water bus, a single one-hour Vaporetto trip in one direction costs 7 euros and 50 for any visitor aged six years and over. There are water taxis that can run you anywhere from 80 to 110 euros per trip. There are tourist travel cards that are time-based passes usable from the time they are first validated for the period that you choose, from one day up to seven days. They do cover normal Vaporetto water bus services around the Venetian Lagoon, but they do not cover any transport to the airport. Um, those are separate tickets that you have to purchase. They also don't cover the water taxis, gondolas, or the Ala Laguna ferry service to the airport. The Doge's Palace can only be visited with a cumulative ticket. Single entry tickets do not exist. You can choose either the Museums of St. Mark's Square ticket for 20 euros per person or the Museum Pass for 25 euros per person. These both give you access to different attractions as well. You do have access to the Bridge of Size with this ticket. Entry to St. Mark's Basilica is free, but select parts have fees. St. Mark's Museum, the Treasury, and the Altarpiece all have fees. St. Mark's Museum is 5 euros per person, the altarpiece is 2 euros per person and the treasury is 3 euros per person. There is usually a long line to get into the basilica. To avoid the line, get there as soon as it opens or you can purchase skip the line tickets for 3 euros per person, which you can book online up to 10 minutes before you choose to visit. The city of Venice sets their gondola ride rates at 80 euros per 30 minute ride. Now each gondola can hold up to six people. Try to find someone to share the ride with to split the cost between more people. Just walking along the Grand Canal 
and checking out Rialto Bridge, St. Mark's Square, and exploring the many winding side canals of Venice is an attraction in and of itself that does not cost anything. Venice has the reputation of being expensive, however I found that with the many accommodation and dining options, it can be surprisingly affordable. If this video helped you out, give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.